Hey there, Predicted family. Don Ritchie here, bringing you a complete overview of the Predicted Trade System as of January 2022. If you need to refer to this video again, you can find it here in our education section. And let's just uh, dive right in. So I'm going to be using SPY and QQQ here as my examples for Friday the 14th. And of course, we will start with strike selection, something that we are always preaching very hard in the chat, especially going into a zero day. This was Friday the 14th. Uh, we always suggest that you stay really close to at the money. SPY has an ATR here of about six. Definitely recommend, you know, probably cutting that in half, if not more, especially going into zero day. So for right here, I chose the 462 call and the 460 put. And for all the newer people, we're going to do this from the very beginning. So we open the Discord. Come down here, you will see Beast Chains as well as the predicted trade plans. We'll start with the Beast Chains. Since we're doing Spy, we'll go into Spy. Should be one item in here. And you see our Beast Chain in our custom columns of beast bottom and beast itself. This is our beast buying zone. Here at predicted trades we say that as long as the value of your option is either between these two columns or in uh, or of greater value, the strike is still viable and still in play. And we believe that big money will do something with it, right? So again we'll come back here on your option chart you should have our study loaded if you have think or swim this should say something along the lines of beast zone take profits baby beast burger whatever um, we are sticking with the name burger sorry for everyone who has been saying baby beast we're trying to not use that name so just stick with burger and uh, bear with us on this one as names kind of come organically here and just fly around right but anyway open the settings here to edit the study and you have a couple fields that you can fill out so again if you're looking at the beast chain the beast bottom and beast itself is the ox gorilla and gorilla numbers but if you pay for one of our more premium memberships we recommend you come down here as well and go to the predicted trade plans because you will also get exits here so again we go to spy and we are looking for the 14th and for the 462 call. So we come up here, it's the 14th, this is the 5, 6, 7, this is a put, this is a put. Uh, and our man Big Mac asking the right questions. Okay. And here we are. 462 call for the 14th. So this I typically take to my second screen and keep it highlighted so it's just easy to copy. And as you can see here, I already have all of these values inserted. So again, you have your beast bottom and your beast number itself, which is your beast buying zone. You want to enter in this range or maybe a little bit higher than the beast number itself. Because again, we're looking for these targets. So even if you enter above this, you're looking for this. And again, TP1 is where your exits begin, TP2 and so forth. Hit OK, apply, boom, you have your levels. And now same thing for the put. Here predicted trades, we are always stressing. Look at calls and puts at the same time. They both tell the story. And so again, here we have the 460 put. Just happened to be right under it. And you can see I already have these filled in as well. Right all the way through through 1.86. Don't touch the offset. Okay. Apply. And we're good. We're set up, right? So we'll start here at the beginning. Spy opened at about 461 right here. And where do we open up? Right at the bottom of a one hour squeeze cloud. And so if you had uh, some decent trading experience, you probably know that uh, 
the market tends to chop more than anything, right? The market is just constantly going back and forth 80%, 90% of the time. So we have these squeeze clouds to help us visualize the tops and the bottoms of these choppy ranges. So here we opened right at the bottom of the squeeze cloud, so we immediately, you know, <coughs> lean towards a pop, right? So of course, we open and we get that pop. So what happens? The call immediately takes off, never quite reached Gorilla, so showing some strength, and right up to the bottom burger, right? This piece and this piece are a burger. This is the patty, as we call it here in the middle. Call takes off. We get a little turbulence here at these take profits as well as the bottom burger, which we expect. These are four strong levels right here. And market starts to, starts to top out as we cross through yesterday's low and or the previous day's low and the previous week's low. And we get trapped in this small range. Again, we see SPY topping out. We see the calls getting exhausted at these take profits. We get one last high of day uh, wick. And then we begin to get the fade, right? At the same time as all this is happening, the put here... Oh, and let me uh, synchronize these crosshairs just for this video. The put here is basing right at our buy zone, right? This red line and this blue line are our buy zone. And what do we have stacked on top? The bottom of the burger bun. So this is a strong zone to hold up for the premium here on the put. So again, the call is topping out. The equity itself is topping out. We start to lose it a little bit and the puts start to gain value, right? And we play from the bottom of the burger to the top of the burger and some take profits. And as we arrive here at VWAP, you know, we start to get a little turbulence again, as we expect, right? She starts to take a little break, deciding which way we're going to go from here. Same with the puts. We reach the top of the burger, taking a little break, taking a little break. One strong wick to head fake us. And then boom, another leg down right back to this squeeze cloud. And again, we're now going into more lower volume environment as the, the morning progresses. We expect again a bounce here or a reversion. But as you know, we work our way down from VWAP, the put premium again going up. We get to the top of the burger, very close to our take profit here. So this is where we know we start locking, right? We're locking our puts through the top of this burger bun. And again, what we just saw on the call side happens on the put side. Puts start to get tired, we're at these take profits, couple strong wicks, can't really get through the top of this burger, as equity is basing here at the bottom, and we get a turn, right? And that's, you know, our major focus here at predicted trades is we have gotten very good at predicting these turns and positioning ourselves to catch just a nice straight leg uh, in the other direction. So again, we start to take off. Put premium starts to fade. Put premium starts to fade. And as we get through VWAP and we start to top out again here at the previous day's low, where do we stop? Puts are stopping here, of course, at our beast buying zone. And begin to base. Again, our calls had previously stopped at the beast buying zone as we were peeking here at the, uh, at the bottom of the squeeze cloud, as the puts were peaking. And then we turn, right? Calls start to pick up, and we get some premium. And what do we get? A clean double here off this beast buying zone. And again, you know, we reach some inflection points on equity. We get close to some inflection points on the option charts themselves. And then we begin to fade. We get a nice other, another little clean fade. The 460 put held up the entire time, the beast buying zone. Kept it viable, and boom, we get us another leg. We get about 40 cents up to about a buck. Clean over a double. A little turbulence here at VWAP. And then bang, we reach our take profit up here. And again, what happens to the call side? You know, we actually even lost the beast buying zone here a little bit, but not for too long. She peeks back in, 
lets you know that this play is still viable. And then take a little break at VWAP here on equity. The 462 call holds the B zone again. And then bam, we get our final leg to close the day. Break those lows. And you can see the 460 put then gives up the B spying zone, really confirming the move to the upside for us. It's very important to choose strikes that are very close to the current price action. Even if you do not trade those options because maybe they're too expensive for you, you should watch them and watch this information. You know, with with this 460 put, I could have been playing, you know, something a little bit farther out of the money that was a little cheaper if need be, but I'm watching this for information, right? Same with the, with the 462 call. You want to watch strikes that are very close to the current price action. All right, I'm going to do the same here for QQQ, another good example. Uh, again, we are opening at about 375. So I picked the 378 call since we were kind of looking strong pre-market. And then I chose the 375 put this time, even though we were opening right around there, because again, we were kind of looking like an upside move. And I really like this whole psych psychological level of 375. And of course, you know, always open to adjusting as the morning goes on. But as we see here, QQQ opens, rips through the previous day's low, and immediately we see that the call opens right at the beast buying zone, wicks below, giving you a pretty solid chance to enter. And then we take off from the beast buying zone to the top of the burger bun. At the same time, equity is coming through some inflection points, pretty strong, and we get to the top of what is the squeeze clouds here. We have the one hour and the 30 minute came to four, or no, I'm sorry, the one hour, yeah, no, and the 30 minute came to form a little later. There we go. So again, calls take off, equity takes off. We start to top out a little bit. We can see the call premium start to top out a bit. We once again get that high of day spike and then a fade. And if we go here to the put side, from open, we see that he started above the burger bun, very high in value, and immediately lose it, right? Crossing all the way down beneath the burger bun. We have many times seen this as a sign that, you know, this option strike is going to be weak for the rest of the day. And many times we have seen it inverted, right? Where we actually start beneath the burger bun, rip through the entire burger, and then the top of the bun becomes uh, support for the rest of the day. And, you know, we know that this option is strong. But here we get the inverse. QQQ rips at open. Put premiums fall. And we get stuck below the burger bun. But we hold the B zone. So we're like, okay, you know, we still we still kind of like the strike. We're going to at least use it for, for information because we held this perfectly right here, right? Big money is still interested in this put. So we move on. Again, call premium hits a high of day, nice strong wick, and then boom, fade right back to the B spying zone, which lines up here with VWAP and the lows of the previous day and the previous week on QQQ. Again, we base, calls base here at B zone, which lets us know that big money is still interested in this call. And then we get a little leg up, right? At the same time, in this chop, if you were very diligent and had exposure the whole time, you could be catching doubles, you know, 50 cents to a buck and back, pick up again at beast buying zone, 50 cents to a buck, 50 cents, buck 30. Maybe you got out at a buck 15. But a couple clean doubles. And you know, we, we definitely don't preach to just blindly take trades at the, at the beast zone. But as long as it makes sense on equity, and we're holding inflection points, and we're holding the inflection point that is the beast buying zone, take a risk. You know, you've got a stop loss. Get out, you know, somewhere down here at the bottom of the zone if you need to, and you'll stay safe. But anyway, we'll continue along. QQQ puts um, take off here as we break view up and come down here to the previous day's low again. 
and you can see that we get once again not high of day because we came from so high up at open but we get a nice strong pop right to end the move and then we fade right equity starts to pick up they want to hold it here at the previous day's low take back off through VWAP and we see the 375 put come right back down to the beast buying zone and hold again rinse and repeat we're back here calls are taking off calls hit the, the middle patty you know we're collecting profits along the way here again if you got in for a buck two under a buck maybe it's somewhere down here at about a buck you're again looking at a double because right? I'm playing both sides of this at the same time and we go on and again you know the like we always say here the market chops most of the time and we do it between these squeeze clouds so you can see here on QQQ all day, we never broke these squeeze clouds. You know, and many times we will kiss them perfectly, but sometimes in these lower volume environments, you know, you just get nice, easy moves back and forth. And you know, and overall, this was a kind of a choppy day. You might look at this before and be like, I don't even want to trade this. But in reality, what did we do? One to two, one to two, one to two on both sides. You know, 50 cents to a buck, 50 cents to a buck back here. And you can collect a good paycheck that way. Um, but again, you know, very important to the system is strike selection. Always pick strikes that are very close, definitely within an ATR, if not less. Nice psychological numbers that, uh, you know, you would expect big money to, to defend at all costs, right? Um, but I hope you guys found some value in this video. Again, if you need to refer to this again in the future, you can find it here in our education section. And aside from that, please ask us any questions in our question section here, or DM me directly or any of us, and we will get back to you ASAP. Thank you all for your time. Catch you all in the chat.